Hi there and welcome back uh, to the Floss Marketing School. In this video, we are going to see Countly. So Countly is an analytics and open source uh, solution which allows you to track uh, your website, your mobile apps or IoT projects. So probably most of you already heard about Matomo Analytics, which is, uh, let's say, the most popular free software analytics uh, platform. And so uh, Countly is a competitor of Matomo Analytics, but uh, before using the word, let's say, competitor in itself, I should have said that uh, those are really two different schools. And you can, in fact, already see that it's two different schools when uh, you look through the licensing model of Matomo and you compare it with the one of, of Countly. So, for example, with Matomo, it's under the GPL uh, v3 license, which means that uh, you are free to do whatever you want with uh, the software and the code source, the source code. Whereas with Countly, it's under the AGPL license, which means that everything that, uh, that you do need to be released um, uh, back to the community. So it's really two different uh, mindsets. So for example, here you are 100% uh, free of doing whatever you want, even to close the, the source code and to not make it uh, beneficial for the community. Whereas with Countly, it's uh, the opposite. It's if you improve something, you have uh, to leave it back uh, to the community. So it's not like one is better than the other one. It really depends of uh, what are your needs and what you want to do at the end, uh, at the end of the, at the end of the day, right? So it's it's really two different ways that you approach uh, the software. Uh, there's no uh, good and bad answer. Uh, Countly has been mainly uh, created in order to uh, target the mobile analytics audience, uh, whereas Matomo Analytics was formerly made for website and then uh, is moving toward mobile and IoT. So it's of course uh, two different things. Uh, that we are looking at the pricing model. The business model is uh, really different from one to another one. So it uh, really depends of uh, what you would like uh, to do. Um, let's uh, try to explain a little bit how to deploy Countly on, uh, on the website. So uh, you can choose either you download the technology or either you open a trial account within the cloud of uh, Countly. So in my case here, I'm not going to go through the installation process because Countly compared to Matomo is using uh, very new technologies. So it's um, great for some people, but it's, uh, it's kind of uh, a challenge for a uh, marketing profile, at least non-techie profile, because it means that you need to play with MongoDB, Node.js, Express.js, and it's it's very difficult. I mean, installing it through Docker, it's uh, really in a couple of seconds you can do it. Installing it uh, in another way, like on-site, it's if you are not a developer, if you are not a techie person, well, it's going to ask you a lot of effort. Whereas with Matomo, it's um, it's the same concept as deploying a WordPress. It's really straightforward. At least there's a lot of documentation on the internet. So, really, uh, as I previously said, two different approach. In my case, I'm going to use the cloud like this. I will feel uh, far more comfortable with it. Um, and uh, let's go for it. So let's create um, let's create an access for uh, let's create a website. I'm just gonna give it a name. So I'm just gonna give it a name just for the sake of this tutorial. I think I need to go on uh, let's say settings. No, that wasn't settings. I can settings. Um, I'm gonna go on oops, uh, application. Okay, so I'm gonna create a brand new website. Uh, I'm gonna call it Satoshi Converter V2. So add a new website. Uh, so it's name app. As you can see on small, we clearly see that uh, currently has mainly been designed for app. Uh, so we say Converter Converter V2. V2 choose an application type and we can say okay that's for a website and then I'm gonna. Okay, okay, to in France, I go for France, website domain, uh, that's optional, so I'm not going to fill it. And like here you get the possibility to populate it with a data source for Matomo. And uh, that's it. So here I created uh, the, the app in itself, and then I can click here on web. And here is where you can explain uh, how you would like the tracking code to look like. So here, this is where you define your tracking code and in my case I just want a basic tracking code which will measure the number of visits and the number of pages. And uh, then if I do this, I click here on generate the code and tell me hey where would you like 
to send data to. So I need to explain what is the server URL, which is this one, in fact, stray.country, uh, because that's where I plan to send the data to. So I'm just gonna copy these parts out and I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna uh, do it like this. So I generate the code, I get the code, and now I need to copy and paste this one on my website. So here's my website, I'm just gonna remove these parts out. I'm gonna change it with the new tracking code that I just created for you guys. So I'm gonna save it like this. And um, and here I go. So Satoshi Converter.website. That's my website I want to track. And as you can see, I get my tracking code over here, great. Uh, so now let's uh, look at the console to see if everything goes properly. So network and I refresh the page. And here, as you can see, I get um, a not found page, which means that my tracker is not working. And I got in contact with Cantley. And the reason is that actually this given line should be within the tracking code. So here once more, it goes back to what I mentioned before. Matomo and Cantley are two different schools. Matomo is really an old uh, software actually. The origin of Matomo's goes back to 2006. Uh, whereas for Cantley, I'm not uh, sure, but it's about uh, five years, four years old. So it means that, uh, of course, feedbacks from the community are necessary in order to uh, make it somehow accessible to uh, everyone and that everyone understands when a bug is coming or when an error is coming that, um, that you need to troubleshoot it. And in my case, uh, that's the case. Uh, which is happening. So we say CLE SSI. I think it's that's the one. Okay. So here, what is happening is I need to hard code this one because if not, it's going to consider that you need to append over here the URL of my website, which is not the case. It should append the one of the cloud. So that's the one. So now I can. Uh, so you see, it's just simple stuff like this, which will which are needed from the community as a feedback in order for software to go mainstream and here it is okay so I get uh, currently which is probably fired so here you see uh, a lot of things which have been which have been sent already in the tracker so yep blah 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 get a lot of things you see grabbing uh, the device ID it's grabbing the SDK it's grabbing the hour at which the connection has been done uh, tracking the timestamp, so this is the exact uh, date and uh, and many other things. So I can see that here the tracking is working, so I start to be happy and I can uh, look through um, I can look through my app. So I see uh, Satoshi Converter V2 and now I get one session, one visitor, one new visitor and I get all the stuff that I'm used to have like okay what's my operating system where I'm coming from, what is my um, what is my my browser, I get uh, many different things, resolution and uh, okay great so uh, here is exactly what I needed in order to get started, how can I deploy the tracking code of Cantley in order to start measuring performances about my websites and uh, we will see in another video what are the other way of pushing interaction to Cantley in order to get started. But as you can see, uh, we find back um, the yeah the same metrics that we are used to have with Matomo or other analytics software, and uh, we can start already to play with it. It was just about understanding a little bit more about the tracking deployment, and we are going to see uh, next time how we can push it uh, even more. Thanks for watching.